So this morning I'm going to do a real brief introduction to dissolved oxygen, and I say brief because it's a subject that you could probably write a book on. Uh, down the road I'll, I'll de definitely do some more lecture type talks on a lot of these subjects, but um, for right now we're just going to do a really quick introduction for all of our YouTube folks. So when you're designing aquaponic systems or aquaculture systems or really anything having to do with aquatic organisms, you need to uh, consider very carefully dissolved oxygen. So when we talk about dissolved oxygen, we're talking about the oxygen that is actually soluble, that is dissolved in the water, that's available to the fish, to your uh, crayfish or prawns, to your uh, microbes even, that are nitrifying, to all of these different organisms. And it's a really important subject that a lot of people overlook and don't really think about when they're designing systems. So. Um, a lot of the time you'll see DO, uh, dissolved oxygen abbreviated as DO and it just basically describes how much oxygen is dissolved in the water at any one time. So the interesting thing about dissolved oxygen is that it, it responds to a lot of different variables including salinity, so the amount of salt in the water. Uh, that's not usually a problem for most aquaponics folks because you're dealing with fairly fresh water, low salinity water. Um, but also uh, the biggie is temperature. So, um, and this is one thing that a lot of folks will mention is, well, when, when the weather warms up and my water gets hot, my fish start gasping for air, or I get a fish kill. Um, and that has everything to do with dissolved oxygen. So if we uh, think about dissolved oxygen, we know that, you know, if, if this is the amount of dissolved oxygen, and there's a whole bunch of different units you can use for this, and um, this is temperature, okay? As the temperature rises, dissolved oxygen, okay, uh, becomes less and less soluble. So as the temperature rises, there can be less wa uh, oxygen in the water. Um, also associated with that is as the temperature rises, the metabolism of a lot of organisms increases, so you get a lot more oxygen consumption. So you combine those two and you can kind of have a, have a bit of a deadly reaction there. Another thing to remember is with, with your fish size, okay, smaller sit fish consume much more uh, dissolved oxygen. So if this is uh, DO consumption, and this is your fish size, as those fish get bigger, as they get older, as they get larger, uh, they're consuming less and less dissolved oxygen. So as a function of weight, okay? So this would be like milligrams of dissolved oxygen um, per kilogram of fish, something like that, um, per hour or by some time unit. Um, so our small fish, they consume very high amounts of oxygen as a function of their body weight. Our larger fish consume less. So if you have, say, 10 pounds of fingerlings in a tank compared to 10 pounds of mature fish, the oxygen consumption is going to be much, much higher. So that's really important to remember when you're setting up your systems, especially at the beginning when everyone's starting off with, with fingerlings. So uh, you just basically want to minimize, um, minimize all of kind of the negative variables that can impact your dissolved oxygen, whether that's consumption, okay, in small fish, whether that is uh, really high temperatures, or even, you know, choosing the right kind of fish for the kind of variables you're going to see. Now, fortunately, fish like tilapia, uh, because they have adapted to warm water, they are adapted to consuming less dissolved oxygen. So they can they can live at very low levels of dissolved oxygen compared to other fish. But um, all of these things are important to realize. And remember, if you consistently have fish gasping at the top of the water, um, either you're overstocked, okay, or you're overfeeding, or you've got too much decaying matter in your system. So all decaying, all digestion, all metabolism requires oxygen. And um, if you have fish gasping, if you've got low levels of dissolved oxygen, there is always something wrong. Um, so that's, that's just a quick intro to dissolved oxygen. I'll definitely be talking about it a lot more as time goes on. And um, 
if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, and we'll definitely try to put up some video responses or uh, respond to you individually. Basil is a great crop. It's a really high dollar, high value crop in a lot of different areas. And uh, if you're kind of just getting into the commercial growing, or if even if you're a home uh, producer, it's a great crop to grow because it's worth a lot and it's really, really easy to grow.